face that this world has forgotten. Ooh, what is up, you guys? And of course, welcome back to another episode of Who Was Really Better? And on this week, we're looking upon the Generation 2 Bear be an Ursaring versus Generation 7 Bear Beware. And yeah, the Bear Pokemon has always been a very interesting concept as a whole since they are extreme powerhouses with very high attack and low speed and decent bulk to some extent. Now, the normal typing has never been revised since Generation 2 with Ursaring, so it took them five generations to actually get on that train, and it's up to me to, of course, go over whether or not this new introduction in the normal type bear was actually better. So we're going to go over their stats, ability, move pool, and, of course, typing to see which one of these bears are really better. So, foremost, we are going with their typing. Now, Ursaring is a very, very interesting Pokemon because it was actually a powerhouse in Generation 2 was introduced. Normal typing was one of the best typings for quite some time. Didn't change till Generation 4 with, of course, the offensive special split. Uh, till then, it actually was fairly viable. It's still kind of hard, but at the same time, normal typing as a whole was less interesting. It has a lot to do with that offensively it really brings nothing to the table, be it that you hit everything neutrally in general, but also defensively very uninteresting because you resist very few things. Hell, you don't resist anything, you have immunity in ghosts, that's it. So everything hits you neutrally at the same time that you hit them neutrally. So it's a double-edged sword, but in my honest opinion it's a very uninteresting typing due to this very reason. That said though, you have weakness in fighting, which is the main reason it got pushed back so hard in Generation 4. That said though, as a whole, normal typing doesn't soak, but doesn't retaliate as hard either. So it's, it's both good and bad, but in my opinion, mostly bad. And Beware actually revised this typing with being actually capable of actually dealing with fighting, much like um, Mega Law Pony here, which is a very interesting combination, because it's a good typing offensively, but defensively, it's not as interesting, brings a lot of weaknesses to a really kind of lacklustering typing as a whole. Fighting type is a typing that I don't believe is the best defensive typing. It is offensively very, very interesting, but it has a few weaknesses that does make it stand out. And the normal typing do not take this into consideration, only actually brings on par more weaknesses to already a very tough um, defensive typing as a whole. So we have still immunity in Ghost, but resist Bug, Dock, and, and uh, Rock. And of course, not weak to Stealth Rock, it's always a perk. But we are weak to, as of, as of general here, Fairy, Fighting, and Flying, which are very, very common and are a big issue for Fighting type. And outside of that, also Psychic. Uh, fighting type, of course, is the one that is introduced as an extra weakness here. And um, yeah, the normal typing combination really just push it down the ladder as not as interesting in defensive typing but as i said that the combination offensively is a lot more scarier because you can hit everything at least neutral to get it with of course super effective damage with your finding stab but as a whole the both typings i would say are very lacklustering and something that holds these both pokemon a long way back but we also have their stats to talk about and when it comes to their stats they are similar to distributed actually but in different ways also we have the hp which of course on the starting is 90 versus 120 on beware both are high both are very high hp stats but we're clearly peaking here when it comes to attack then they actually are close to one another 130 versus 125 it is not a whole lot but we're starting here is debatably stronger uh, then the concert defenses, same thing here. Um, beware is debatably more defensive, 80 versus 75, but as stated, it is not by a whole lot actually that separates them. Then special attack, 55 on beware versus 75 versus Rosarin. It doesn't matter, but 75 actually is usable in some situations, but it should be stated here that, you know, with 130 attack, yeah, you, you are decisive on which what you want to use here. Then it comes to special defense, we have 75 on Ursaring versus 60 on Beware. So Ursaring is debatably here is more special defensive. And of course it comes to speed, here also very very close here. So 55 versus 60 on Beware. It is not a whole lot here either, but Beware is fast between these two. It should be stated here that due to the extra HP, Beware actually is just as bulky on the special defensive side, even though Ursaring has more special defense. It has a lot to do with Ursaring's lower HP here making sure that take hits similar in this fashion so in that sense beware is debatably here actually the more defensive pokemon between them two but ursaring hits slightly harder 
So how does this stat complement their abilities? Well, they actually are very, very pinpointed what they can do. Now I do have believe here I have to talk about another first because it's the only one they do share between one another. And it does ensure you can't use any berries here between or with your opponent. So no lumberies, no reduction berry, no recovery berry while this Pokemon are active. But that said, it's the least interesting between their abilities uh, because as stated, they have a primary ability here, which are the reason you use this Pokemon in the first place. And we're going to talk about Ursaring first because it does get guts and quick feet. As stated before, since Ursaring is physically more interesting, I would say that the guts here really, really does help quite a lot. Since the guts actually ensure that you can take any type of um, status on you and actually boost your attack by 50%. And this is very, very scary with a Pokemon that does learn facade uh, and just maximize the damage up. But that said, we also have quick feed which doubles your speed, which as stated here, due to uh, is Lackler and Speed here having double the speed on the switch in and with already a very high attack in 130. Yeah, that is very scary. That is very, very scary indeed. And that was why Urzarin was such a threat actually back in the generations ahead of him. Now, Generation 4, that did affect it somewhat, but as stated here, both Guts and Quick Feet resolve a big issue for Urzarin and maximize his damage output naturally, making it one of the scariest normal types around actually. So how can Beware match that? Well, it got Klutz, which makes sure you can't use an item at all, so that's that's not relevant. What is relevant though is, that, as stated before, when we talk about the stats, we already know that Beware is physically not as scary, but defensively a lot more scary than Ursaring, and it got Fluffy. Fluffy, while given a new weakness to Fire, which is unfortunate, very unfortunate indeed, already got four weaknesses, we get five weaknesses now, but the ability on its own is one of the best in the game and definitely help Beware's quite a lot. It boosts your defenses by 50% on contact moves, so the moves such as close combat, for example, does not take that much damage anymore, and it just basically becomes a neutral hit onto you, which is very, very good. Beware really, really does need something to push the boundary with a high HP stat and reduction in physical hits. This really, really does make Beware a powerhouse and a defensive tank at best. It is very hard to kill this Pokemon, and that ability just made it that much harder, making Beware one of the most interesting checks for the likes of Bishop and Scizor because it does deal with them fairly well due to natural defenses to already high HP stat. So this is something to keep in mind that Beware, while not as offensively as scary, does sure as hell stay around for a lot longer than Ursaring possibly even could do. But as you guys all know, a Pokemon is only as good as its of course move pool is making it out to be. So with that said, let's go over their move pool. Now when it comes to their move pool, it's actually kind of surprising here, but Ursaring in theory learns every move that Beware does get. There are a few moves that Beware stands out with, but as a whole they get the same thing. They both get double edge, they both get hammer arm, and earthquake, shadow claw, rock slide, rock tomb. And on setup move side here, we have Bulk Up in Sword Stance and Filler Moves in Ice Punch and Thunder Punch. And the, yeah, I mean, they get all of it. Like the relevant moves, they figured it out, they got it. And are very much on par with one another once you talk about it. So, like I said, Big Weird does get a few extra moves, and their Soaring gets a lot of extra moves here. So, we're gonna go over Big Weird's significant move pool first. Now, Beware has, of course, another fighting stab in mind, and that is Superpower, which is a very important move for it, because it does mean it doesn't force itself to lower its already kind of lackluster speed and becomes slower. 6 of base speed, while not a whole lot, still is a relevant speed here, no matter what. You don't want to lose that unless you want to be slower. So, with that said, Hammer Arm is not as desirable as Superpower, in my opinion. That said, we also get Pain Split. Pain Split, while not the most interesting move, since Beware has such a high HP, it should be stated here that you can't focus on these defenses, and since we were already so hard to kill, it could capitalize on Panic Split as actually keeping it going. And of course, the last move we just get here is Dragon Claw. Dragon Claw, both good and bad due to getting Ice Punch already. I do believe Ice Punch is a more desirable move between them. That said, though, it does get it. Now, with that said, let's actually look at Ursarin's complete move pool. So, it's stated here, Ursarin has a broader move pool, and it should have. It has. Five generations before we were to actually develop something else, and um, it actually stands out more on the egg move side than anything else. Uh, they do learn everything by level pretty much the same, 
What does differentiate is that we're going to learn by actually breathing, and we have Crunch on Ursarium, which is one of the more interesting moves here, making you able to not rely on Shadow Claw, which is a significantly weaker move. Uh, outside of that, we have actually Close Combat, and Close Combat, yeah, it's a good move. It is definitely, in my honest opinion, the better uh, physical stab, uh, though clearly he doesn't have the stab, but Close Combat makes sure that you don't lose any attack or speed and loses defenses, which is something I believe is much, much more desirable than either Hammer Arm or, of course, the likes of Superpower. Uh, that said, we also have Belly Drum, but uh, yeah, it's a double edged sword. If you want to capitalize on Belly Drum, you need to capitalize on the Toxic Orb, the Quick Feed, the very end, and whether or not you can survive it, it's very debatable. And the last move being Play Rough to the Lurrus, which makes it able to hit, as actually the much, much harder the fighting type that could actually force it out. Now, outside of that, it does have a few cure moves from previous generations that are interesting. Foremost being, of course, Fire Punch, which is something that we does not get, which I find very surprising. We also have Low Kick, we have Seed Bomb, we have Gunk Shot to be able to deal with those pesky fairies. And if you want to capitalize on your slow speed, you have Avalanche from previous generation and Dynamic Punch and Body Slam if you want to capitalize on them. But as a whole here, Ursari's move pool is in my opinion, it's a bit more interesting. There are a lot of moves here that can definitely be capitalized on. And this, as a whole, really, really just make Ursaring stand out for me a little bit more than Beware because it does have a broader move pool. But it's whether or not if that move pool is relevant or not. As stated before, offensively, normal and fighting is a very, very good combination. Is the reason Mega Law Pun is such a dangerous threat in the meta because it does hit everything at least neutral or super effective? It's basically aren't forced out by anything but he does have an ability here that makes it able to do so with scrappy beware does not have that option which makes it not as offensively scary even though it is just as strong really and as fluffy to be able to soak hits but in my honest opinion it comes down to this i do believe as stated the normal final combination one of the offensive most scariest typing in the game defensively it's not that and the reason Law Pun is successful is because it is able to not get hit. Beware does not have that option, making it just as frail as Ursaring really is. And with that said, I do believe Ursaring has resolved those issues with either hurting a lot, lot more or being quicker to pull that off. So in the end of the day, while Beware can soak hits, Ursaring might actually resolve that issue much, much easier and debatably here, I would say that Ursaring, due to this extra move pool and being able to either resolve its issues or actually getting access to it and not being stalled out by such a Will-O-Wisp, making Ursaring, in my opinion, the stronger between these two. And I know I need to, of course, talk about the elephant in the room when I say this. Yes, I am very aware of that um, debatably here, but we are, is better in the tiers, and it should be. Uh, it deals with Scissor really well. It deals with offensive threats really well. It is one of those Pokemon that tank hits uh, by defensive threat but can't deal with the special ones. And although the special defense really just push that Bourne a little bit more. But as stated here, the hard hitting Pokemon in the meta are definitely dealt with really well with Beware. Ursaring can't pull that off. But when it comes to between them, I think Ursaring as a whole has a much much more access to doing well than Beware is doing due to its able to reside in two abilities that actually puts it as offensive prowess a lot more than Beware ever could do. Fluff is a good ability, don't get me wrong, it's the typing that holds Beware really well back. Had Beware been a soul normal typing, I do believe it would have been a much much more desirable Pokemon. Hell, if you got access to Gunk Shot like Rosarin do, I do believe I would have said Beware is better because it can't deal with any offensive threats that you actually been forced we can capitalize on. And since Ursaring can that do their extra move pool, I really have to give Ursaring here my honest opinion as Pokemon. But yeah, I really want to hear what you guys think about this. I mean, as stated here, I, I'm fully aware of that Beware has um, a, a strong viability somewhere else, and quite honestly, it might actually be good enough uh, to actually be on par with Ursaring. But as stated here, I go over this and you know look at what they can bring to the table and how they would function if they were, of course, deal with the whole meta as well as it could, and quite honestly, I do believe Ursaring is easier to use, and uh, that, that helps it, it helps its viability for me, uh, but also means that, you know, I debatably are saying that Beware is bad, which is not. As stated, in a meta, it, it stands out a lot more than Ursaring, but Ursaring really can do a lot through meta too, but there are other Pokemon that does the same job, if not even better, with a better typing. 
<laughs> That's it, guys. As always, you know, thank you for watching. I hope you understand my reasoning behind this choice. And if you disagree, feel free to do just so. I do get the other side of that argument, too. So, uh, thank you as always for watching. And join us next time, where we are going to look upon these two Pokemons.